This is your girl, the original calculated girl, the OCG, reporting live from the Cannery Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. And to my right, I have the beautiful Crystal Johnson. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I am blessed to be here with you. And to even have the opportunity to sit here to interview you because you brought some energy to the stage last night and I want to know all about your listen and your ministry and how it came about. So first, I want to know what is your ministry called? Uh, our ministry is called Kids on the Right Path. Uh -huh. And it's, it's very self-explanatory. It's exactly what it means. Putting our young youth and generation on the right path. Um, instilling back moral values, mm -hmm. building character, mentor, mentoring, and just doing those things that we're supposed to do in a godly way. Okay. So that's what we do. And I was inspired by this uh, when my kids were born. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, God had told me, when my son was first born, God told me to make sure that I raise my son the way that he's telling me to raise them. Mm -hmm. And um, I knew how I was raised, but I wasn't exactly sure what he meant. Yes. So as time went on, as my son started to grow and getting to the toddler years or whatever, it was everything that he told me to discipline him on. Mm -hmm. And discipline comes in many forms and shapes. It's yes. not all about yes. spanking or anything like that. But it's like staying on top of it, mm -hmm. not letting go of it, and keeping up with it at all times. So that's what I did, and I raised him in that way, in the light of Christ. Uh, taught him the Bible mm -hmm. at a young age. Um, started he started speaking in tongues at age three. Wow! And you know, and uh, definitely when he was first born, we mm -hmm. gave him back to the Lord. And so God had told me that even when I was pregnant with him, that uh, He was going to use him mm -hmm. to uh, serve in front of great people and great men. I still to this day that's unfolding and I still don't know all of what's going on but but when he said to start this ministry and the way to raise to reach the, the generation because the Bible says to go out to the highways and the byways yes. and we so often stay within the church walls mm -hmm. that we don't have that opportunity to do that because we're either fear stopping us mm -hmm. or we just not being taught that so God made me start this ministry, and he made me start it in mainstream. I want, I'm a worshiper, uh -huh. and I wanted to just worship and praise God and sing worship songs, but God told me no. Mm -hmm. I told you he gave me the ability to write the songs, mm -hmm. to bring the songs exactly where the young generation is, to put it in a thump and a beat, and get them out on the stage, whether they rap, because particularly I don't care for rap, and yeah. I know the young generation, they love it, but mm -hmm. I'm more old school. So he said, sing, rap, dance, do all of that, all of you know. So I brought both of my kids, matter of fact, my daughter is not here, mm -hmm. like I was saying last night, because she's in finals, but the whole family is involved in it. And we do songs. Listen is just one of the songs we do out of 12 other songs. Okay. Um, and some of the songs that I can mention is okay. listen because God said they have to listen first to be able to obey. Mm -hmm. So the next song is obey. Then we got talking back because all kids talk back. They're very disrespectful. I and, you know. Way. When I was little, when oh, I didn't we, get my way. We try it. Think. We try it. And so there's just a plethora of songs that we have that we do. And that's how we birthed the ministry. Yeah. And we go to schools, churches, communities, uh, wherever we need to go, that's where we go. Uh -huh. And we do this. And we've done music videos. We've been on uh, a little bit of TV before. So we're just, it's an outreach. And we just do it ourselves and see what God unfolds each time. And this was the biggest blessing to mm -hmm. come here and have this done by uh, Laverne and Rebecca and to, you know, to initiate this um, tour so that the gifts could be shown to the world. Well, it was definitely shown because when I interviewed your son earlier, man, I told him it was power. I, I told him, he was just like, it was so much positivity coming right. from his performance. Yeah. With him up there on the stage, he knocked all the negativity out of me. If I had any, it was gone <laughs> because it just came, boom. It yeah. just came as one of them invisible forces because right. it was that positive flowing off the stage to see you and him perform listen yeah so we um 
we have a lot of things we want to you know brand our name mm -hmm. and brand ourselves because there's so many kids that are looking for mentors they're looking for a hero we're not yeah. heroes we're only Christ is the hero mm -hmm. but they're looking for someone to look up to and we don't have that like we back in the day we had it mm -hmm. but we don't have it like we used to have it before I mean these kids now are looking up to people and I'm not trying to diss the secular world because we have to bring them in too but they're looking at some of these rappers and entertainers and heroes that are just stripping taking their clothes off doing all kinds of things and that is that is not godly and we have to teach them, but we have to teach them in a loving way to yeah. pull them in gently, not beating her upside the head with the Bible and at a time, step at a time, so they could see positiveness because yeah. we're in a negative, we go to work, we're in something negative. We go to school, we're in something negative. Mm -hmm. It's negative, negative, negative. You turn on the TV, it's negative. And mm -hmm. so we have, to, we have to counteract that to bring in that positiveness to, to bring God more to the earth because he's coming back soon and he wants this generation that's coming up, the little ones all the way up to the young adults, yeah. he wants them to get right mm -hmm. and he's crying out that passion and that's who I am. Do y'all have that mentorship program? Do you have something set up where yeah, like can do y'all do certain camps certain times a year where y'all take you know, individuals and young kids and y'all mentor them throughout the year or is it like summer camp type thing? How do you do go about that? We have a website and it's mm -hmm. www.kidsontherightpath.com. They mentor, we mentor either on Skype. Okay. There's no way that you cannot, you know, there's, there's access to us everywhere. Okay. We do it on person and Skype, on the phone. And if they need mentoring, mm -hmm. we, we do that mentoring ship. But every year we like to hold a great big what we call Kids on the Right Path Camp. Mm -hmm. And that camp just brings kids from the east, the west, the north, the south. Okay. And we just we just feed them, we do songs, we dance, they, they have lesson plans. It, it, it's just the whole thing that we do. So what time of year is that done? Summertime? And Summertime. is it like a week long or a couple of weeks or, or like a month? Because I have some God kids, they triplets, you know, because I'd be happy to ship them off for about three ah. days, you know. It's so funny. God kids. If you need us to keep them a month, we'll keep them a month. No, it's usually just like a week long. About a week? Yeah, it's a week long and um, we usually have it every summer. This summer, we're not sure exactly if we're having it yet. It's not too late because we have to get another place. Okay. So things kind of fell through, but you know we're still working on some stuff. But all of that will be on the website. Well, you know why I fell through? Because God got a bigger place for you. And then he's going to reveal that bigger place to you. So that's why that's when they ain't working out because exactly. more kids going to be coming. So he's already making space. Right. That's why I fell through because he got something big because he already know y'all going to need more space. Amen. So Amen. just believe that because the key is going to be there. Right. And we do fun things like the last thing project we did was a music video. Mm -hmm. And we went to the secular school and we pulled all the kids out. And the principal was happened to be a godly woman. Mm -hmm. And we used their facilities, we used everything. And we did an actual professional music video. We had mm -hmm. people come from Sony. Yeah. And we had uh, a couple people with Disney on our webpage. And what is it called? It's called Listen. The whole okay, title. The whole it. listen. Yeah. It's okay. Called listen, and you can you can view it and see that on there. It is because God spoke to me, and He said, "Crystal, they have to listen first to be able to be obeyed." Because we're too busy trying to make kids obey. He said, "No, they have to listen first. You have to teach them how to listen." Mm -hmm. And if you don't teach them how to listen, then you will fall short and they will not obey. It's going to be harder for them to obey. I'm about to disappear for a second because I have to bring her son Brandon on. Y'all saw him earlier and I'm putting him on the spot again for everyone who she's talking when she talked about her son and you heard me talking earlier to Brandon about listen and I kept talking about this son and mother team on stage. So you might hear me talking. But I'm gonna bring Brandon up because you have to see these two together to get the full grasp. So when you go to their website, it's moving through these two in the positivity. And you know, to be honest, if y'all got some kind of bulletproof vest or any kind of vest, or you know, you got your little fake shield, you know, y'all got your little uh, uh, Captain America shield because that positivity gonna be coming through the camera. So go ahead, brace yourself because now both of them gonna be on camera together. 
And I'm just saying, you know, I'm just warning y'all. Y'all gonna might have some positivity coming through. So yeah. watch out. Brandon, come on up. What's up, guys? Brandon. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see, look, I ain't even said, I just said his name. Look, he just smiled, mama started smiling. I just gonna see how you gonna act sitting next to your mama up there. How does it feel to be on stage with your mama? Oh man, it's a blessing because I really do uh, look up to my mom as being the epitome of a uh, godly woman. Proverbs 31 woman, that's my mother, you know. She's always taking care of the family, she's always cooking, she's always cleaning. Uh, even when she's yelling at me, I still love her. Like, I want I want everybody to know that just because of like it may be uh, mother and son, it's just like oh man, they're perfect. I can never be like them. Of course, you can never be like us because you can be the only you. There's nobody else that can never be you like you can. Nobody can excel at being yourself like you can. So don't try to be like us. Don't even try to be like them. Find out who you are, find out your identity, live on purpose, fulfill your dreams, and be yourself. So. Okay, Mama, how you feel about working with Son on stage? I mean, you have raised oh. an absolutely godly son here. Right. And how did, I mean, how do you feel? I mean, I can see you glowing. It's, you know, it's a blessing, and I, and I do have another child, too, uh, that has been raised the same way, and she's turned out really good. But it took a lot of hard work, and we're just going to be honest, spankings. Brandon got a lot of spankings. <laughs> I mean, because he was a mover and a shaker at age one. He never stopped, never stopped. He was busy, busy, busy. Because the Lord allowed us to channel it. Yeah. And that's why God gave us the gift of how to raise kids. Mm -hmm. he, and in order for him not to be, um, you know, put in jail, you know, as a young black male or a drive-by shooter or into drugs or anything like that. We never let him sit idle. We kept him busy in the things of God. And that's Amen. very, yeah, that's so important. That's so vitally important. So did he, he, he really is really a good guy. He really is. He was a good kid growing up. It, did he? Did, did we discipline him? Did he do things wrong? Absolutely. So, but we just we keep molding and shaping it and molding and shaping it. And this is the results, parents. It's nothing. I take no credit because it was what he told me to do. If I had not listened, here we go back to listen again. Yeah. If we had, if I had not listened to what God was telling me how to raise him, I wouldn't be sitting here. Okay, well, thank you, Brandon. I appreciate it. But you know what time it is. I mean, I'm going to have to kick you out of my spot. Can I sign off? Um, I'm really, really blessed to have this time in this ministry. Um, and I thank God that just everybody will catch on to this mm -hmm. and catch on to the vision and passion and support it through the ministry, through God, and know that this is of God and this is not of ourselves. Okay. You heard it right here. You better open them ears, because she done told y'all several times to listen. And if you didn't open them ears, when you go to their website and y'all download and hear that song, I can guarantee you will listen. But this is your girl, the OCG, at the Cannery Casino. And you know how I do it. Peace.